In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to determine molar ratios. What you'll need is a balanced equation. In fact, every molar ratio problem always starts with a balanced equation. Here's one now. How about we take some hydrochloric acid and zinc, we react those together to make zinc chloride and H2 gas. All right, let's balance. This is unbalanced because I'm looking on the right, there's two CLs, there's two H's. On the left, there's one CL and there's one H, so we're out of balance. The law of conservation of mass suggests that the masses and amounts of the reactants has to equal the masses and amounts of the product. And so let's do it. We're going to create a chemical inventory. Um, I'm going to write down all of the different chemicals, all the different elements found uh, in the reactants and the products. There's H, there's chlorine, and there's Zn. There's one H on the left, two H's on the right. There's one Cl on the left, two Cl's on the right. There's one Zn on the left, and one Zn on the right. Okay, so I'm looking on the right and the left. There's two H's on the right, there's one on the left, and so what I need to do is add a coefficient of two in front of the HCl. I can only put numbers in front of compounds, never as subscripts. All right, now I've got to go through and update my chemical inventory. Let's see, there's now two hydrogens, and there's now chlor two chlorines. And look at that, just by putting that, that two in front of the HCl on the left, uh, I now have the same amount of the reactants as I do as a product, and that's good. We're now nice and balanced. So the question is, what is the molar ratio between HCl and ZnCl2? To do that, what you do is you look at the coefficient in front of each of those compounds. There's a 2 in front of the HCl, so we have 2 moles of HCl. And there's no number in front of the ZnCl2, so that implies there's 1 mole of ZnCl2. So the correct answer is 2 moles HCl per 1 mole ZnCl2. It's that simple.